Oh, baby. Let's get right into it. I don't know. You already know what you're listening to. It's the Get Back. Yo, I'm yo. I'm Sammy Dukes. I got my co host, Daniel. Yo, yo. I got me at on the ones and twos. Yo. And I got Lou, my camera boy, and my uh, everything. He's my everything. There we go. <laughs> He's our everything. He's our everything. That was mad cute. What is this, Valentine's Day? Oh, it feels like you it. Wish. He's my everything. After all this love I've gotten today, all the hugs, uh, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, there's been so much, you know. We got NBA playoffs, we got NHL playoffs. The NFL makes the schedule release a whole day. It was crazy, but I don't want to start at any of those sports. I want to start with the with the what is it? Not America's sport. I'm going crazy with the nation sport, football. Food, specifically food. Yeah, or soccer, whatever you want to call it. It's but soccer. It, it it's the it's a global sport. The global sport. Yeah. There you go. There we go. It's soccer, sport. though. Soccer. Is it so- soccer. What do we call it? We, we call it soccer. Soccer. Because we are degenerate. That's why. <laughs> we, we need to be different. We need to be different. Hmm. Is that cultural appropriation? I don't know. What I don't know. That we want to be different? <laughs> what? That no, we that want to be different? Is that soccer? cultural appropriation? Like the word soccer? I don't, I don't know. think it's an appropriation. I think it's Americans wanting to be different. Mm, That's what yeah. it is. Mm. Definitely. Is that selfishness then, though? I don't know. Whatever. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I went to the Hudson River Derby. Hey. I was talking to my boy Daniel the whole week about it. He sent me a whole essay about understanding the transfer window afterwards. And I was, you know, I was in activities that day, so I didn't read it all. But, oh, man. I, I mean, it was everything you said it was. It was crazy. Um, what am I? I don't even know where to begin with that day. I mean. So with the... um. The, the tailgate. The tailgate. How plastered. I was not plat. No, no, no. I wasn't. <laughs> no, I, I w- you know, it was fun. I was on the red. We parked in the Red Bulls mm-hmm. uh, parking lot and um, we walked around. We went to third rail. We got some food. I talked to the band. I talked to the band. Um, it was amazing. And then we went over to the Red Bulls march, whatever they do, the red carpet march or whatever. something. They're, they're stupid. I don't know, dude. It was <laughs> weird. But they were hyping us up for 10 minutes and they weren't coming. I'm like, all right, let's just go back to the car and get some drinks or whatever. But um, I went into the arena. You know, we I tried to sneak into the fan section, NYCFC's fan section. They did not allow it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you tried, though. I'll give you that. I tried. You I had tried. the hat on. You, tried, you had the perfect disguise. It, yeah, I did. I was wearing my swag. I had my merch. Dude, I had your my toddler hat. bucket hat. Yeah, my toddler bucket hat. I, I should have brought it today. Dang, dude. I should have. The bucket hat will I forever live on. Dude, the menace was out that day. Let me. T- <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I, it. I think soccer is, at least, well, for me, I think it's taken over as my number one sport. Yeah. Ooh. Over wow. football, and basketball, and everything. Right. Why the change of heart? I just, I don't know. I was watching Liverpool play. Who did they play yesterday? Leicester City. Leicester City. And I don't know. It was just, I feel like there's always motion. There's always things going on. I It's always strategy. Like, football is just, like, it can be very boring. Like, unless you're, if you watch Red Zone, obviously, it's amazing because you get all that action. But if it's not Red Zone, it's just very boring. This is what I said. You know this. <laughs> Yes, brother, you know this brother. You, yes, you know brother. this. Yes, brother. Oh, yes, we yes. boy. Lewis has been waiting to hear me say that the entire semester. The and I semester. need you guys Absolutely. to know. Now that I'm, I'm like a. So I'm like, often. I'm like a proud dad. <laughs> so often. Like I just you, seen look, my, you look like oh a proud dad. I look like I just seen my. Come ch- around here. All right. Because right, you, right. you, got you, got <laughs> you got a windbreaker, yeah. you got a snapback hat, and you got the Nike shorts. You look like a dad. Let's be real. Let's go, Johnny. Hey, I got oranges for you, pal. Oof. Not the oranges. Oh boy! <laughs> How high do you go on your shorts? Because I feel like Lewis is wearing seven inch shorts. Seven inches? Yeah. Oh, I have shorter. I have shorter. You have shorter? Yeah. Have I'm shorter. trying to. I, I wear, you wear like the the like the Nike like the really tight yeah. underpant I need so that it comes down below. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the warmers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. need to go shorter for the summer. But anyway, <laughs> um, you gotta show off them legs. Exactly. <laughs> Sam the stallion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez, uh, the menace is gonna be active. Let me tell you. It's a hot boy summer, y'all. Yeah, short king summer too, you know. So. <laughs> you know. But anyway, um, I was shocked at the atmosphere. You were talking about it to me all week. My boys are all soccer fans, um, 
And, I mean, the NYCFC fan section was louder than the whole stadium. It was crazy. I can't repeat some of the chants they were saying. <laughs> um, yeah, we get wild. It, would, would, it yeah. was it was amazing. It it really I feel like he could grow into the number one sport in the in our country. You know? Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. It, it, it's know. always gonna be football. It's never it's gonna happen. Like, but after the World Cup in twenty twenty six, it's gonna grow. It'll grow. It'll grow. It'll grow. And now we're getting a stadium in Queens. It's gonna it's gonna be big here. It'll Ooh. be. Where in Queens? It's right next to City, right no? City Field. Yeah. Oh, literally across the street. Perfect. Beautiful. Wow. What are the games like at those at City Field and Yankee Stadium? They're loud. They're you know we we show out. We you know we get a lot of crap because you know oh you don't play in the stadium you play where the Yankees play and like we're we're always moving. You know it's either we play Yankee Stadium whether we play at City Field but you know we always pack the stadium we're always loud we always cheer and over like the past ten years that I've seen this team every year I've seen it consistently grow. Mm-hmm. And it, it it's been such a really cool thing to finally have that, you know, acknowledgement that, you know, this is the city's team and that this is this is a team that's really starting to become part of New York. Mm-hmm. So that's really exciting to me. Kind of starting from this team from nothing and you know you know, you know, we, when we won the cup in twenty uh twenty twenty one, it was mm-hmm. that was a special moment that really brought the city back up and it, Every year, I always go in thinking, you know, okay, this is a dip year. This is the year where we're not going to see attendance rise. This is going to be the year where we're going to fall off a little bit. I haven't seen that. Really? I, especially when we go to Queens. There's a big community out there in Queens that just never always packs City Field. is always loud. And there's just this, like, togetherness when we're on the pitch or, like, when, you know, we're closer to them, right? There's this, like, level of, like, you know, we're, there's no disconnect. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like we're all together and we're all choosing to support this team. Like, we that hasn't dipped. I haven't seen that dip. So there's a little bit of a difference between City Field and Yankee Stadium, though. I think there, I think, right? I think definitely it's more, que- there's a lot more going on Queens, but the Bronx mm-hmm. is also very popular. Really? And yeah, I mean, yeah, especially with the Latino community. I mean, does, it, does it come through when you watch the games on Apple, on Apple, though? Like, do you see like that kind of fan, fandom? I, I think it's different from Yankee. I think when you look at City Field, it mm-hmm. looks less, but there's more. And in Yankee Stadium, what you see is what you get. Okay. I think if, if you see a packed house, it's a packed house and it's loud. Mm. But if you're looking for a City Field, it looks like there's not a lot of people there, but they are. Yeah. I was trying to think of a solution because what, the stadium's going to be done in what, 2027 or 2026? They say 2027, but I could see it being done earlier. Right? I was just like, I feel so bad for NYCFC. Like, <laughs> I feel like they need, like... Let's figure this out. And then the only place I could think of was MetLife, but no. then it falls into the whole, like, now we're both in Jersey. So, <laughs> yeah. You know, one of the things I love about the team is that we pride ourselves on being in New York City, yeah. where we are the city's team. We're not proclaiming that we're playing for the state. We're not proclaiming that we're playing for Jersey. We're playing for the city. And it's in the contract. Mm-hmm. It's in our club's contract. We are building a stadium in the city, within the five boroughs. And they got that done. Yeah. Could they play at um, what's the tennis stadium? No. Oh, no. Arthur Ashe. Arthur, Arthur Ashe. It's it's too prestigious. Really? They wouldn't allow it. No. Cause you can't mess up the perfect tennis courts. You wow. know the historic tennis courts <laughs> oh that everybody goodness. gets so excited for for a week. <laughs> and you we got a packed seven train going to Met games. Yeah. Dude, by the way, Allison has been bugging me to play tennis with you. For real? Yeah, we, yeah. We gotta do that. Well, Maybe we, today. We, let's do it. Yo, today, I think I'm gonna text her and be like, "Yo, Allison, let's play tennis." Exactly. Like, let's, what what day this week? I want to play tennis. So I think we gotta play tennis for Allison. The get okay. back, play the tennis. The get back, play tennis. tennis. The get the get back does tennis. Yeah. 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 Allison smokes us. Yo, like, <laughs> like 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 we're nothing. Like we're nothing, bro. bro. Like we're nothing, bro. She's oh. like, okay, here's how you hold it. <laughs> Okay, here's how you hit the... Oh, good job. <laughs> I do the simple forehand swing. <laughs> it barely makes it over the net. Good job. Oh, good try. Great try. <laughs> You're really trying out there, Daniel. I really love the hustle. She just does a basic serve, and it goes right by my head. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my you know, goodness. You know what's really crazy? Badminton is actually very easy to play, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, do you play it? I do play it. That's the one sport that I'm good at. Why am I finding this out now? Yeah. What Sorry, about pickleball? Uh, Are you like pickleball? Pickleball? Big. I'm not familiar with pickleball. Mm. Yeah, it's when you like actually get a jar of pickles and you smack it in the air. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm kidding. It's you just take a, pickles, it's, you put it in a ball. Yeah, it's just a green ball. That's why they call it. It's literally ball. tennis, but like 
smaller, smaller courts. Yeah. yeah. Smaller courts, that's it? Yeah. That's what yeah. And like the yeah. the paddle, it's like it, the bracket's more like a paddle. It's like yeah. solid. It has no holes through it. Oh, okay. So there you go. Gotcha. Yeah. I, yeah. I, know, I know the one rule in pickleball that you can't go in the kitchen. Wait, what? What's what do you mean? Kitchen? Why can't you go in the kitchen? The, there's like, okay, so like the court is like it's two, like, you know, it's two big courts. Yes. And then there's this area. It's like a dark blue. Okay. That's called the kitchen. It's the area between the net and the, uh, the actual part of the court. Uh-huh. You're not allowed to hit the ball with your foot in the kitchen. Ah. Mm. I don't know why it's called the kitchen. That's so stupid, but, mm. you know. Because it gets hot in there. Ooh. Ooh. I that was bad. The, <laughs> the, the cooking in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him cook. Let, let, him, cook. let, let him cook. cook. Let, let him cook. cook. <laughs> let him cook in the kitchen, pickleball. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Um... Let's talk a little bit about the game. I was at, you know, I, I mean, Menace was at the game, and uh, <laughs> uh, I did fall. As- I didn't fall asleep. Let me let me <gasps> rephrase that. Oh, oh no. if you would have said that I after, after the asleep. hype you just did. No, no, I've never been to a crate, not crazier like fan experience, but like it was my first soccer game experience. It, it, at it, least that draining. I can remember. It, it gets draining. Yeah. Well, I wasn't drained by the fans, though. I was drained by the game. It was yeah. one of the worst games I've ever seen. Damn. <laughs> what was the I, final score? It was one nothing. One oh, nil. no. But it was, I mean, these refs wanted to go home and get, they wanted to go. <laughs> I don't know if you were watching on the TV. I of mean, there I was, was there was multiple, like, handballs that weren't called. Um, they left a few cards. I told you that they left a few cards on the table, but that, that speaks to what you're saying about the roughness. Like it was really rough. Mm-hmm. Like they were getting physical and they weren't calling anything at the beginning of the game. Um, and then there's a switch. Yeah. Cause that's what, always, that's what always, always happens. You have to understand this about soccer and MLS officials. Mm-hmm. They are the most inconsistent group of officials I've ever seen in my life. Really? They've always like, there's, there's games where me and my dad, we go to games and we see the ref, and we go, oh, we're going to get screwed today. <laughs> oh, there's going to be something happening today. It's like Scott Foster in it, it, It's stuff. literally like when you see Scott Foster and Andrew Hernandez yeah. at, at a game, you're like, oh, crap. I gotta, like, come on. Like, like, like you, you go in with that sense of, like, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. I know we're going to get screwed, and I know there's going to be stuff not called. Uh-huh. Right? And it's like Ted Uncle, who was the referee for that game, mm-hmm. is one of the worst officials in the league. Really? Like, he, he's overhyped. To like, he's like Scott Foster, like, he's overhyped, and like, you know, his name because of how bad he is. Mm. And it's like, you know what he's gonna do, you yeah. know, he's gonna do something stupid, he's not gonna call where he should have called, and he's gonna be inconsistent. Yeah, there's there's no consistency, consistency to MLS referees. It was, it was, it was rough, it was rough, even though I was enjoying the fan experience. Um, let's talk a little bit about NYCFC and. You know, we talked a little bit about the team situation. Yeah. They clearly need a striker. I mean, I'm a very, very casual fan, and I could even tell. I was like, they were doing all this rinky-dink stuff and trying to get into the box. And then once they got into the box, it was over. Like, they couldn't score at all. I, 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 <laughs> I said it because this is your first time watching this team play. This is pretty much how we play every game so far this year. Are you serious? Yeah. But it's we're the- good in the standings. I mean, we're like fifth right now in the standings. Tenth. Oh wow! I was oh way off. My gosh. But we're not the Red Bulls though, because they're last. Well, they're true. They they just moved up. So. They d- oh well. Oh. At the time I saw the game, they were. At last. the time you saw the game, we were fifth <laughs> and they were fifteenth. Now we're tenth, they're fourteenth. What? <laughs> How did we go down so much? Oh, because we play so, Charlotte too. But well, no, because we're also we're so close in the standings that oh. e- even one game could switch it dramatically. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the it's like the Western Conference. Mm-hmm. Basically, yeah. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like, like we can go on a one week swing, swing and nine points be third in the league. Wow, it, it's that tight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, who do you want to see NYCFC get? I don't know. In terms of a striker, I don't know because like when we went into the off season, we knew we needed a striker because yeah. we didn't have one. We thought we had one. Mm-hmm. And, and who? And Tyler Mango. Okay, yeah, that's who was, I was thinking. Right, but the, here's the problem: is like he's not a striker. He's, he's a not. winger. He's not. He and, is. And yep. and and. That's part of the problem is that we're trying to make him strike when he's not. He doesn't like being in the center. He likes playing on the wing. Yeah. And he he just needs to be a winger. And that's I'm fine with that. Mm. But you have to understand that and understand that if he's not a striker, go get one. Yeah. Right? And it's like you didn't address that. And, you know, I, I said I put the blame on both the coach and the front office. But, you know, you have to get you have to get a guy. Mm. And it's not necessarily a guy who's like prolific or a guy who is fast or is young, but you need a guy who could play that role of I'm going to get you goals. Yeah. Right? Because that's what this team – this team is very good at connecting 
and making that that pass to the guy that you need to get it to. Yeah. But when it comes to the final product, it's not there. Mm. When it comes to that final touch, it's not there. You need a striker who can do that. You don't need a guy who's going to change a game. You don't need a guy who's going to you know beat 10 guys or beat, beat a defense. Yeah. You seem to be in the right spot. And so I don't think you need that prolific guy, but you need that guy who's just going to be there mm-hmm. and just who you know you can get the ball to and he's going to score. Which is what I felt watching the game is that, you know, the wingers and the, and the center field, the striker, right? Yeah, center so field striker? Or like he, He's called a false nine. False nine. Okay. Um, I felt like they were just trying to, like, um, you know, nutmeg and try to get past the defenders at that last line, and they kept on cutting back into the box and whatnot, and – it just wasn't working for them at all. The because again, game. there's nobody in the box for NYCFC to attack what yeah. he's what the winger's giving him. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. I will say though, my favorite player, I think, uh, is it Parks or Sands? Which uh, who has blonde hair? Fifty five. Parks. Parks. That's my new favorite NYCFC yeah? player. Yeah. You like Parks? Yeah, that's my boy right there. He's tough. He's tough. Yeah, he's he, he he's good. We've, we've had him for a couple of years now. Mm-hmm. No, he's good because he he's like. He's not going to be, like, the attacking midfielder. He's not mm-hmm. going to be, like, that Mesut Earth or that Kevin De Bruyne mm-hmm. type of player. But he's going to be the guy who does the dirty work. He's yes. going to be the guy who will get in the midfield, get the ball back, and win the ball back. Mm-hmm. And I think he's important to this team because we don't really have anybody who could play like he plays mm-hmm. and have that height and that physicality that he brings. Yeah. Has there ever been soccer players that go transition to the WWE? Mm. <laughs> I Random, right? I know. I, tr- I trust me. I could tie it in. I promise you. No, I not that I could think of. There's no, never been one, right? I don't think so. Cause I tell you, I can't tell what's flopping when they're actually hurt. <laughs> I'm I'm just being honest with you. So I'm just like, if you could sell, let's hey, put them in the all ring. Be, they should all be movie stars. Movie stars. <laughs> they right? should all be actors because they they put yeah. on before. Because it's like, ah, oh, ah, oh, my ankle, ah, oh, my ankle, ref. <laughs> <laughs> Ref, ah, uh, ah, uh, the ankle. Uh, Next thing you know, uh, they're running 50 miles an hour the, downfield. The, the best is, is the limp. The, uh, 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 I'm good. I'm good now. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It, 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 it's so typical, and it's amazing to see. Yeah. But Although, like, did, but someone, like, did anyone get hurt in that game? Not that I think of. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, what happens a lot is what's called time wasting, right? Yes, yes. Is that you know once the Red Bulls went up, they threw themselves on the ground. Yes, I and learned they, that. They milked the clock, mm-hmm. and this is something that teams learn to do. And really good teams know how to time waste, because the referees they don't care. Yeah, they don't care. And it's like the fourth official is supposed to remember this time and have a, an internal clock of like, okay, he's been down two minutes. Got to add that at the end. Yeah, but they never get the time right. Yeah. And oh they, no! It was plus nine at the end of this game. They played the, twelve minutes. I'm pretty sure. Like they played yeah. another three minutes. You know what I don't understand? Okay. Is why they don't put the time up for the extra time. That's what I was saying. Right. It doesn't make any sense because the clock can go that long. Yeah. I've seen it run that long. Yeah. I was asking my boy. He put it on his on his clock yeah, or his uh, watch. Yeah. You, you have to wear a watch or talk again to keep yeah. track of time. It's, it's insane. I was like, what is this? Um. They did almost. They did almost. I mean, it was interesting at the end because they got the corner kick. And then they just blew the whistle on yeah. something. I don't know what happened. Well, at the because end. what happened was the ball went out, and we should have been giving another corner because it went out on the Red Bull player. Okay. But because the ball went out of play, the rule is that once the ball goes out of play, the whistle can be blown. So they blew his whistle. Gotcha. But like, why don't you just give us the corner? Yeah. Like, yeah. like if one we last get one last shot. One last shot, and like you could t- we could tie the game. It could be drama. It could be great. But exactly. No. Yeah. Well, it was a tough L. But uh, let's talk a little WWE before we go to the break. Is there anything that's caught your eye this past week, WWE? Um, you know, we have the tournament. We have AJ versus Seth. Yes. I think that I know you wanted Edge. I don't I didn't want Edge, but I was kind of thinking of it being Edge because what I was reading, like, you know. And he did a little promo on Twitter. He did a little promo and he was like, you know, it, it's his last run in mm-hmm. the company. You know, I felt like they would give him a pity title reign. Mm-hmm. As like, here's one last reign, and then we'll give you the main we'll give you main event at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. And that's what I was thinking, but I'm glad yeah. they didn't do that because yeah. Seth needs to win this thing now and yeah. not wait for it. Really? Yeah, so I, I think I think it's good to give it to Seth now because mm-hmm. it's like you can set him up with a, with a proper feud going to SummerSlam, whoever it's going to be. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be Balor. That's, okay. That, that's my Again, prediction. Again, the rematch? Again, okay, that, That's okay. my prediction. Okay. Uh, so, but, yeah, 
And AJ Styles and Styles is going to put a good match. And like, I like how there's no animosity here. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's just going to be two guys who are going to do great wrestling. Mm-hmm. Good like, old-fashioned wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> wrestling. What does it mean, King? What does it mean? <laughs> they don't have any beef with each other, King. We're going to be like AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling. We're going to do some wrestling. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna actually, actually do some suplexes here, King. <laughs> By God. We're gonna do some te- technique wrestling. Oh, oh with a with a with a snap mirror. Oh. Snap mirror. Oh, by God. By God. By God. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Anything else happened in WWE? I'm trying to think. The tournament. What did you hear about Roman? Oh yeah, the uh, silly tag team thing he's doing now. Yeah. But I saw the promo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That promo was great though. Bro, bro, when he goes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let's camera on you. Camera when he goes, on you, Daniel. you dedicate this match to me. I'm not even a tag team guy. You think of all the Hall of Fame tag teams in our family, and you dedicate it to me? <laughs> what are you stupid? Yeah. Yo, Roman Reigns is iconic, bro. He, th- he, 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 you know, he's really good. He's really good. I, 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 I really, it's going to be hard when he, when they have to transition that and they have to take title off of him. It's going to be a really hard transition for WWE because he's, he's just so good. Yeah, but you can hold it to. Re- I'm sorry. Are you okay? I thought you got it out, bro. <laughs> I didn't. Oh my goodness! Wait. Okay, I coughed it out. Now I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is looking like SpongeBob over there. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> <I> hate it. <laughs> wow, that was madness. <laughs> wow. So, Roman and Solo <laughs> for so the Roman tag Reigns. team. Yeah, Roman Reigns. By God, Kane, he almost jumped on his own spit. <laughs> By God, Kane. Sam, Sam just coughed it out. Uh, Sam just coughed it out. No, I had like a tickle and it wasn't going away and I couldn't cough. His oh throat almost just snapped him in half. <laughs> his throat almost just killed him. As By God. my witness, his throat had a tickle. <laughs> <laughs> do, oh do you God. think? Um, oh, do you think he's gonna win the the match? No, I, I <laughs> no. <laughs> Great transitions right now. No, because I feel like Jimmy and Jay are gonna interfere and they're gonna cost him the match. Really? That's my prediction. And the bloodline keeps cracking. And the basically. bloodline keeps cracking. Yeah. Hmm. I think it'd be cool to see him win though. Have all four titles. Just be Stop. crazy with it. Just lean into it. Just the WWE should lean into it. Just make him God. Right? Exactly. He says he's in God mode. Oh, no, man. I, I feel like he's going to, like, Jimmy and Jay are going to, like, they're going to come out and they're going to be the reason why they lose because they're going to cause a distraction they didn't need to, they didn't need to do, mm. you know? Mm-hmm. And it's like either somebody will come back or somebody will come out to, yeah. like, disrupt the Usos Yeah. and, like, help out Kevin, Kevin Salmon and that's it. Uh, quick stuff for Night of Champions. What else are we excited for? Well, I know that they're doing. I know last night they did a battle royal for the Incarnate. Uh, yes, and uh, Ali won. Ali won. Yes, I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> no, Mustafa Ali. He's good. He just uh, he hasn't gotten a chance. Yeah. So like, I'm happy for him, but he's gonna get smacked mm-hmm. with Gunther. So. Yeah, I like Imperium's new new red, new new. The, the, or the red's nice. Yeah, it's clean. It's clean. Um, what else? Rhea, we don't know who she's fighting or anything like she's that. Probably or, not gonna fight. She's not gonna fight, right? Yeah. It's kind of silly. What's Saudi? You know they're. But Sammy's fighting. True. <laughs> like it doesn't make sense. It's like you know, if Sammy's fighting. Then why are you having? Why why aren't you two champions on the card? Yeah, exactly. You know? It's night of champions. Mm-hmm. True. And they set up Not the, night uh, of just regular fights. Right. Just, <laughs> right. And I want to see uh, gold put on the line, baby. Are we are we hyped for Cody Brock too? No. No. Really? No. Don't care. Didn't care the first time. Don't care again. Mm. I, I I really ho- I really think it's gonna go to SummerSlam and it's gonna piss me off. But this is this is what we live in right now. Because hmm. like he's gonna waste another two months with Brock. It's like Brock's probably gonna win a night of champions. Mm. They're gonna go one one and then we're gonna go away to SummerSlam. And this is how it's gonna be for the whole summer. Really? This is what it's, I yeah. Mm. I mean they do have to drag it out, but um. This is what they do, Sam. Yeah, this is what I, this I'm is learning. What they do. I'm learning. I'm learning on the fly. Brada, why they do this? Why they do this, brother? <laughs> because Vince thinks this is how they make money. <laughs> <laughs> big strong men pick up big baby face. We're not. We're not. What is this? We're not hyped for almost. Is almost going? Stop! Oh, stop! It. Stop! It. Stop! <laughs> stop! It. stop. <laughs> Blasphemy. Anyway, let's go to commercial break. When we get back, we're gonna talk all the coaches' firings and our NFL games, of course. Uh, we'll be right back. All right. There's been some breaking news. 
Both dun, dun, Monty dun, Williams. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah. There you go. Monty you. Williams and Doc Rivers gone as head coaches. I don't know when Monty got fired, but Doc was today a few hours ago. Yeah. Um, Philly lost in a seven-game series to Boston, 4-3. The Angels lose. They got destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Although it was close through three quarters, right? And then Jason Tatum just went off. They scored 10 points in the third quarter. Oh, wow. It was okay, not close. Yeah. It was not close. And then Harden went like 3 of 11, I know. He had one shot in the, four, in the fourth quarter, and he missed it. <sighs> he didn't want to be there. He wasn't enough to halftime. He, he just got the ball past it and let, let it happen. This is why I was surprised you guys believed in Philly or someone believed in Philly here. I don't know who. I don't know who. No. Oh, oh we're, so we're not revealing the you, truth, you, huh? You're trying to, you're trying you're to not, call me out? So. Yeah. <laughs> trying to call me out? Yeah. We went seven games. What do you, what, what you want from me? What do you want? What do you want? Did I think that Embiid would crap the bed the way that he did? No, I didn't. No. I thought, <laughs> who I did? Thought, I thought he had diapers on. I didn't think he would crap the bed. I thought he had a diaper. Come on. Oh, my goodness. But um, what's next for Philly, dude? Is it is Harden leaving? Is could Embiid leave? I mean, um, you know the Knicks are sniffing. They're they're, they're lurking. Stop. They're man. lurking. Stop. Stop, they're Stop for lurking. who? Stop for who? Stop for who? Who's, who, 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 who are you thinking? Who? Which one? Embiid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, if, I don't if, want if you would have said Harden, we would have had a bigger problem. No, no. We would have no. had a bigger issue. No, no. Yo, He's going to H Town. I don't going like. Back home. I don't like y'all Knicks fans. Why? Why? Y'all posse around and y'all go around town talking about every free agent or like every star who's disgruntled or had a bad game seven performance. Uh-huh. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. He's coming yeah. to the Knicks. And then it never happens. What happened mm-hmm. to Zion, Kyrie, and KD? What happened to that yeah. pipe dream? But we huh? dodged the bullet with that We dodged one, True. We dodged the bullet. Look, this time's going to be different. I'm exactly. telling you. Jesus. Stop going to be here. Damian Lillard's going to be here. Exactly. Joe Embiid's going to be here. Yas is going to be. It's going to be great. We're going to have the big four in Bede, Giannis, Lillard, and Dante. No great. bench, though. No, Your bench no, is going to be cheap. You don't need a bro, bench. the starting five. Ready, bro? The starting five. Jalen Brunson, yeah. Damian Lillard, Luka Dantich, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Joel Embiid. Oh, that's tough. That's 82-0 right there. Is my team? Or what, the, what are we talking about? Is this 2K? <laughs> 2K, baby. Oh, boy. Trading all the picks. <laughs> Not is this 2K. You know, you know Dolan wouldn't even want to pay any of them. Yeah, he would. When it comes to the Knicks, Dolan flashes the cash. He does. He does. That's true. I mean, they give Phil, Phil Jackson the bag. Who else? He do, he he goes after big names because he wants I that. I mean, Mello. He paid Mello. He paid Mello. Like James Dolan's the owner who's oh. just like I I want to be the yeah. big guy. Joakim and Derrick Rose. How do we forget about that? That was oh, the stop. greatest off season, right? Oh. <laughs> we haven't talked since the Knicks lost too. I know you talked on Thursday about it. How we feeling? I need, I need, I need my personal, my personal Daniel, you know, confession right now. I mean, like, how you feeling? I mean, I was angry, you were right? Angry, and yeah. like, like I accepted the loss after Game Three, just because I saw this team play, mm-hmm. and I saw how they were playing. Like Game Four really put the nail in the coffin for me, mm-hmm. and it's like I, I, I'm okay with it now, and like I'm happy of the season that we had. I'm proud of it. We had a, like, if we're st- if we're stepping back because now it's over. We don't have to be overcritical anymore. We could look at the season that they had. They had a, they had a great year. Yeah, they did. They had a, Julius Randle had a good year. RJ Barrett had games where he stepped up. He had a good stretch. Jalen Brunson was the answer at the point guard. We answered that question. Thank God. Yeah. That took ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Longer, right? I think. Longer. Yeah. Right. I mean, my expectations were they were going to be like a 7 8th. They me were going to be in that play in sort of. Right. I, I was looking at, you know, this is going to be a good play in team. You mm-hmm. know, maybe, maybe we make the playoffs and I'll be content with that. But, you know, they pushed for a 50. They pushed for a 4. Yes. Almost got it. And I think, you know, they, they had a lot of courage this year and they had a lot of good moments. Mm-hmm. They just didn't have the players to make a deep run. Yeah. And I think that was the key that Miami had that playoff experience. They had the players who know how to play in these big games, mm-hmm. and they had that that bench depth. And even without Tyler Hero, they had three point shooting. Yeah, right. And I think what the Knicks need to do is I don't necessarily think they need to bring in another star. Right? I have a good one for you too. Because like, because yeah, w- w- right. w- like, look at Jimmy Butler. He's yeah. the one star in the Heat, and he's surrounded by a cast who could shoot the three and play the ball and play the how they need to play. Yeah, right. I think the Knicks should. Build around Brunson. Okay. Try to work out maybe getting Randall off the books. D Rose come off the book. You, you got to get rid of Fournier because he's terrible. 
right? And you need to bring in, you know, guys. And I'm willing to give up on the kids if it means bringing in a veteran guy who could shoot the three and who has that playoff experience and knows how to play in these playoff runs. I have a name for you. You have a name for me? Oh, yeah. oh I got you. You know, we've been thinking about, like, the whole semester. Now, now, real quick, because the names you've been saying this semester yeah. have caused some controversy. You had Derek Carr. You had Anthony Richardson. <laughs> right? You, that was the best take ever. Okay. I swear that it would have. Top top three <sighs> takes of You had Marcus Mariota. How can we figure out Marcus Mariota? Oh, Marcus Mariota. He, well, he could always the read option, re- guys? Exactly. The option? Oh, boy. No, here's the name for you. Jalen Brown, baby. Jalen Brown. I think it's realistic because of, I mean, yeah. all the commotions that's happened this past season with them. I mean, but he they clearly the feels. Final, you think they give up on him? I mean, they, they Tatum's obviously the number one there. Mm-hmm. He fe- I feel like he feels he's underappreciated there. And I'm sure he believes he can be better than Jason Tatum defensively, and then if he develops his offensive game, if he comes to the Knicks, he'll be off-ball more. I mean, well, not off-ball more, but he'll have a true point guard. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, Brunson will be setting him up if Jalen Brown can, um, you know, make his shots and then hopefully develop a little more on-ball. That could be a scary backcourt. Jalen Brown, Jalen Brunson? JB2, JB squared, you know? JB squared. Oh, no. I mean, I, I like it because I think he fits with the Knicks style too. You know, exactly. they're a hard defensive team, and like he he could help with the permi- the perimeter the perimeter yeah. three point shooting, and the three point defense. Sorry, and I mean like in terms of who would give up. I mean like uh, honestly, I'm giving a, up Barrett. I'm giving up anybody is open but Jalen Brunson. Yes, I agree. I, he's I, young too. I mean, yeah, he's eligible for the super max. They could grow together, him they, and JB, yeah, and Jalen Brunson. They don't have a supermax on, on their on their books, the Knicks. I don't think. Did yeah, they, give, uh, they give it to Randall. They might have gave it to Randall. Randall might be. He might I, be. He's sniffing around it, probably. Yeah, yeah, I think he's sniffing around. I don't know if he has one, but he mm. might. But they could fit a max on their contract, right? Especially if they get rid of Fournier and somebody else, and Rose. His contract comes off the books. I don't think. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, it could work, but like I, again, like I, I just I need like, I need more depth. Yes. on this team, and like I, I need, I need a deeper bench. I need, you because know, we went an eight man rotation and like quickly didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. I think we need another ball handler, mm-hmm. somebody to take the load off Brunson because forty eight minutes and forty minutes in game in game six, he couldn't go anymore. Yeah, I mean, the the Heat knew nobody can handle the ball in the Knicks, so they threw three guys at him, mm-hmm. and nobody could shoot the three, so they left it wide open for the corner. Nobody, nobody made, a, nobody made a three. Yeah. yeah, right. So I think you need to bring in guys. Who could shoot the three well? Mm-hmm. Who could handle the ball, and who just have that playoff experience? Yes. Because this is not this shouldn't be viewed as a young team anymore. This should be viewed as mm-hmm. a team that has players who could play in the playoffs and make deep runs every year. Okay. Okay. I I can see that. I can see that. Now, now free agency this year arguably terrible. Yeah, I don't even know who's right? a free agent. Like I think the the, the big name is Chris Middleton. Oh, oh yeah. Right. And like that's Taj that. Gibson's probably out there too, you know. Yeah, why not? Bring Taj back, you know, while you're at it. <laughs> Come on, Tibbs, you but, got him. <laughs> but I think it's gonna have to be done in the trade market and maybe in the yes. draft. Maybe there's like a, a pick you could swing or yeah. something you can do. I mean they have Dallas's pick and if it lands outside the top ten, then you got I mean they get eleven, twelfth overall pick, you know? That's a little something. Maybe we shape a Wimby. Oh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> maybe we make a trade with uh, Orlando get Orlando, young guys right? for Wimby. That'd be crazy. M- Mitch Grimes, RJ, <laughs> Toppin, and five first for Winby? You say no? I, I would, yeah, but. Ah. <laughs> then we're not getting him because that, that, that's the best offer I could throw at you. <laughs> Let's talk a little uh, Eastern Conference preview. Who we like in Boston or the Miami Heat? I'm kissing the death in uh, Sean's team right now. I'm going to go Celtics in six. You're going to go who? Oh, Celtics in six. Gotcha. Kiss the death to Sean's team. Kiss, Damn. He kissed the death my team, so I got to give it back to him. I'm very shocked because all the you know podcasts I listen to, they're like sleeping on the heat again. They're like, you know, the the three years ago when they made in the bubble and they made it, and they're like, you know, I think last year they made kind of a – oh, yeah, they went to the conference semis versus Boston last year too. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that team was a little more talented, and I think they're kind of <laughs> they're kind of sleeping on them again. And, um, yeah, it's it's kind of tough. I think I think Boston can pull it, Boston. I think Miami can pull it out. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Right? I mean, I mean, like, I, I think it's closer than we realize. Hmm. I, I think people, are, which kind of stinks for Boston because they have so much depth. Yeah, but I, I just think that this Heat team knows they're deep. 
mm-hmm. right? Like they they can bring Kyle Lowry off the bench. They can bring Max Schrute off the Max Schrute. Like, hate <laughs> I hate that guy because he he kills us. And it's like yeah. he was the only shooter, and you know mm-hmm. Max Schrute is you know they had that three point depth and Boston's not known for the perimeter defense, right? Really? I don't think so. And you know I don't know Jalen Brown's a lead on defense in two K. Yeah, so but <laughs> like. <laughs> Like he, he's gonna have a matchup with Butler, but Butler has proven that who's ever on him, he could he could shake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I agree. You know, I think it's gonna be between Butler and Tatum, mm-hmm. and I think the supporting cast just they're so even that it can go. It depends on who's off that night and who's on that night. I think it comes down to coaching too. I mean, you got Spo versus Maz, and yeah, Maz is really questionable this playoffs. It's really I, tough. I mean, like, but like. Doc Rivers has been more questionable. Oh, yeah, they've both been questionable, and, like, of course. They, that, that wasn't a well-coached series at all between the both of them. Yeah, yeah, not at all. And who did he play in the first round? They they cooked uh, – who they, who they even Boston? Play? Yeah. They played Atlanta. Oh, yeah, they beat there. Yeah. yeah that was, but they lost two games. They went six games, which it shouldn't have. Anyway, let's go out west. Lakers Nuggies. Lakers Nuggies. Oh, boy. The, ch- the Dino Chicken Nuggies. The Dino Nuggies. <laughs> Oh man, I think we both agree. Nuggets all the way, right? Yeah, Nuggets. And six. <laughs> nuggets and six. Nuggets and six. Yeah. Oh, it would be crazy though if LeBron makes it to the finals. Would it not be? It'll be rigged. Oh dang. <laughs> It'll be rigged. Oh boy. Come on, this, this is gonna be LeBron, AD, and the three refs versus, versus Nikola Jokic. This is gonna be the series. <laughs> because you know, you know, the league wants to have. Oh, we're gonna do Lakers Celtics. Reunite the old rivalry again. Yeah, get excited. Yeah. Get excited for the NBA Finals. It's Celtics Lakers historic. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, like, Jokic by himself can sell a final. You think? He's that good, dude. He's averaging triple a triple double this playoffs. Oh, yeah. I think for hardcore NBA fans, but for like a casual fan, I don't think they really un- appreciate you. I think the league is in a place where they could have one of their historic teams in the playoffs and have them play Jokic, like Celtics Jokic. Okay. Like, that would showcase him well. Yeah. I think getting him in the final will showcase just how good this guy is. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. he's been elite that we don't talk about. Oh, yeah. He's, he's. Uh, I mean, there was a stat, uh, Zach Lowe, I heard it was yesterday or today, where he said that Jokic has won six series in, like, the past five years, and then the Clippers and the Nets have won four combined <laughs> since Oof. they both formed their super teams in 2019 Oof. or whatever it was. Yeah, he um, did. And I'm here for, you know, like, showcasing and parody. Like, I don't really need, like, the strong brands, like, or whatever, the rivalry or whatever it is. Like, I'm here for Heat Nuggets. Yeah. That would be amazing. I mean, look look at hockey. I mean, none of the original six teams are left. Mm-hmm. And you're going to have Florida, Carolina, mm-hmm. and you're going to have uh, Dallas and Vegas. Who who the hell had those four in the, in the conference final? Yeah. You yeah. know? And it's like, but, like, that's, that's the beauty of, like, these – like you know, it's going to be different. Yeah, playoffs are much different than regular it, season it's much in different. all sports. It's it's also I feel like it's more fun when you have these teams that nobody really knew about during the regular season just show mm-hmm. out. Yeah, and like you, they have stars. Like they ha- they obviously have stars, but maybe they're not as promoted or they're not as talked about. Mm-hmm. But now you you see how good they actually are. Yeah, like Kawhi Leonard. Like we used to talk about Kawhi Leonard. Like he was good, but then when he went to Toronto, he was great. Yes, you know we sh- we showcased just how good he really he really was. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's the beauty when it comes to the playoffs is that guys like Jokic and guys like Tatum and like to a degree Embiid, you know, we talk and Butler to a degree, you know, they're not talked about enough in the regular season because you know they don't have the numbers. But now that the focus is on them and that they get to play their style and they get to kind of show out on national TV every every week, mm. you see how good they really are. Yeah, and like you could see them shine. You could really see that they are motivated. And they want to win this thing, right? And it's like, that's why I love playoff time. Because, mm-hmm. like, you get these stories that develop of, like, you know, how good are they real? Like, where are they going to go? And, like, who's a fraud? Who's not a fraud? And it's like, that's a, that's a big thing. Like, it's cool to see. Yeah, I mean, to to talk to what you're saying, like, one of my boys I went to the soccer game with, the Darby with, he's trying to go down, or I think he's going down to Florida. And he's going to go, he lives near the Panther Stadium or whatever. And so he he wants to go to that, but I kind of want to go to that too. And I'm not even like a hockey fan, like so. It's I think it's having an impact, or 
I don't know. I think I'm just consuming so much sports now. <laughs> I'm just like it's April, May, Woo! baby. It's the best. Ooh. <laughs> A- April, May, the best time of year. I know. Oh boy, I, I guess I'm realizing it now. Um, what else is there in the NBA? I mean, uh, I think there's something blatantly obvious that we can talk about. Very glaringly obvious. Very glaring. What else would it be? Ja Morant. Oh, yeah. Ja Morant. Yeah. You have to have a take about this guy. I mean, I I don't know if it's a take. He's just he's just messing up. He's oh goodness. <laughs> it it just kind of shows just like how he how skewed media is because he did the interview with Jalen Rose and it was clearly like a layup interview, you know. And it's just like, oh, what are you doing, Ja? Like, are you this? <laughs> I mean, like I mean, like it, it, it's not like, it's a bad look for everybody. Yes, and that, like yes. And like like. Not even like for John, not even for the Greeks, but like for the NBA too, because they came out. We put him in rehab. Mm-hmm. We're issuing a statement. We're finding him money. He apologizes. We understand this. Clearly, he doesn't. Clearly, that wasn't strong enough. And clearly, whatever you said, you didn't mean. Or whatever he yeah. said was written and he didn't mean. Yeah. Because he wouldn't be doing this mm-hmm. months, two months after he did this. Mm-hmm. Not like it was like if it was years. Like oh, John did it again. Okay, well he's been good for a couple years. Months, dude. Yeah. They're saying he could face a lengthy suspension in the regular season. I mean, it's just – it's but, but, bad optics, but it's also – I mean, like you're saying, it's just like – I think it's going beyond just like PR stuff. Like something's going on in that organization with them overall and, and with Ja. Like who knows? Yo, real talk, where's John Moran's father? <laughs> He's where's at the, the game. Where's, where's T. Moran? He's, he's at the with, game, but not trying to give him his son some some just like normal advice. Like, hey, son. Don't have a gun on Instagram Live. But think about it like this. Think about it like this. You got to think about it like this. Jaws the breadwinner now. Like, you know, he's supporting his family. So if your father's Bro. coming with you with advice, it's kind of tough. That just goes to show you. If you, you think about it like that. Uh, that just goes to show you he doesn't respect what his dad says anyway. Because if, cause if he was probably like that before, then why would it be the difference now? Oh, you just have money. That's all you got. Mm-hmm. Your father, you were born in a two-parent household. You went to private school. Who do you think helped help pay for that? Mm-hmm. Your dad. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Who got you in all these cool, cool things for basketball? Mm-hmm. Your dad probably helped out just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, just a little bit, right? <laughs> right? So now you're going to come over here and your pop's not even doing nothing, taking sips at clubs with Usher and like, and Shannon Sharp. Like, yeah. yo, be, yo, be a father, T. Come yeah. on, bro. Like, come I mean, on. They, they're they're going to they're gonna talk to the whole family. They're going to figure out what sort of suspension, what sort of How things you got to do. I think I've heard like half the season. That's right. That's right. That's like, a what, lot. What, but like, what else are you gonna do? And like, I think like, you can't trust him not to do this again. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I mean, like, he That's hasn't pro- he hasn't proven any sort of trust. That's the thing. And it's like, like what, what else are you gonna do? You, you took away basketball for a week. That didn't teach him enough. Mm-hmm. You know, what, what else are you gonna do? I feel like we're talking to like a spoiled kid here. I, I mean, what's what he's acting like? like? Like I feel like we're talking into like, oh, he just didn't care about the punishment. Like this, like bro, you were. Why you got a gun, bro? Why you got a gun? Mm. Who's who's really pressing you? Who? Security's cheap. A seventeen-year-old kid. Like, well, so a 17, like, what are you doing? A seventeen-year-old kid at his house. At his house. Who's pressing you? Who's pressing you? You're playing mm. basketball. You press on a seventeen-year-old. You're a child. A worker. Yeah, in, a worker in a mall. Just like, bro, like you're too old for this. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And you're like an NBA star. Act like it. Mm. Yeah. Like, he didn't do it before he got paid. Now that he got paid, all the stuff comes out. Mm, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. As soon as he got paid, you had the stuff at the mall. You had the incident at his at his house with the basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 17-year-old kid. You yeah. had the first gun incident. You had the Indiana Pacer incident. Yes. Where yes. he had laser pointers at the player's heads. Like, what is that? And, now and, he's, and he's suing, the um, I think he's suing the, the 17-year-old kid for, like, defamation and, like, cost him all, <laughs> like, all NBA first team or whatever it was that he I, wa- I think the kid sued, no, 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 who's suing him is the, what was the worker at the mall? What store was that? I forgot. The security guard? I, Not, I think it was, the, I think the security guard suing him. I think he's suing the 17-year-old kid. I was like a counter. Nice. I, I think the counter suit. I, I have to look at the thing again, bro. It's like, like, you're like already. Oh, there's so much stuff on him. But also, he's not about that life. Clearly, mm. if you're really about that life, you ain't po- putting a gun out there. If you're really doing dirt, you're not that trying to incriminate true. yourself. You wouldn't incriminate yourself on the internet. Mm. Go on Instagram Live waving a gun. Like, be like serious. Ja, you mm. went to private school. You're not that guy, pal. Hey, <laughs> hey. I'm just gonna say it. You are not him. You're not him. 
you're not that guy. So like the the whole like him just trying to like he's trying he's just trying to look cool with the homies, mm-hmm. and he thinks that's cool, but it's not. It's mm-hmm. not. You're stupid. Mm-hmm. And like he already is cool. He's an NBA player. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants how to many, be like Ja. How many people can say that they're NBA players? You like, think, come on. Yo, you think Nike drops so them? So many people. I mean, they gotta consider they it now. Play. They, they have, to have to. They have to. Now. The second time, like, how many chances are you gonna give them? Mm-hmm. Baseball? They baseball it maybe three strikes. <laughs> but then again, he's already had one gun incident. Then the thing with the kid, and then the laser pointer. Yeah. He's had a lot of those. So I think Nike probably will. Maybe, like, take a short break from him. Maybe. Not, like, to avoid the contract as a whole, but we'll come back to it. I, I think they would do probably with him for a year. Yeah. The entire, year. The entire season. Yeah. Not I the NBA. The I, I think Nike would. Oh. I, I think oh. NBA does half the year. Stop those checks from coming in. He going to really be like, oh, I got to be a good boy now. <laughs> but he's got $148 million guaranteed. And he's still doing this. That's he's still doing thing. this. Like, you're not. Oh, he's a private school kid. Oh, my God. Let's... <laughs> Why are you so stressed out, Lewis? Because, bro, it's like, I grew up in the hood. Right. He's not that. Right. You're not hood, bro. Mm. Right. You grew up in a two two family home. You grew up with mad, you you had a basement. Mm. You didn't grow up in the projects. You didn't grow up in no hood. You're not that guy. Mm. Right. Like, if anything, it should be me being <laughs> like that guy. <laughs> Statistically yeah. speaking, it should be me. But this guy over here, two-parent household, private school, going to all these things, traveling the world at a young age. He gets all these opportunities, and then now you see a flash in the gun singing a young boy. You're yeah. not cool. Yeah, 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 You're yeah. corny. You're a loser. Mm-hmm. Yo, John Morant is a loser. There, I said it. Thank you. Let's, um, I don't even want to talk Jets. All I'll say is that I'm nervous about all these primetime games, but that could be off air. I don't know. I'm just nervous. It's just I'm a nervous fan. I'm just nervous we're gonna be under 500. But that that that's that's a irrelevant topic right now. Oh, next week's gonna be fun. <laughs> next week's gonna be fun. Yeah, it is. I'm nervous, dude. I'm nervous. All right, now what was the Showtime story that you that you were talking about? Oh, that's right. So okay, so I was on my way home. From work or, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was work. Anyway, right? On my way home, you know, Showtime comes on the train. For anyone that doesn't know, it's just dancers <laughs> coming on the train, right? Showtime. Right? Show, exactly. Show, showtime. So where I was sitting is where the doors were, where they set up the speaker or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So they're real close to me. I should have known off the bat that it was going to be bad because the music was going in and out. Like, it kept on going on and off. <gasps> no. So I was like, oh, snap, dude. Um, anyway, so they did their thing a little bit. The dude incorporated me and I gave him a little pound, you know, right? So that was like the first two minutes or so. Then, um, his boy comes in, does a little move, right? Then the boy that I pounded comes out and I'm minding my business on my phone and I hear a bang, like a (gasps) loud bang, right? But I'm not looking. And I just look up and I see his boy go like... (sighs) <gasps> and he's like touching his head, so I'm like, oh snap, right? Oh, no. And then, the, so then they stop, and you know, that's the end of it. Like once your boy, <laughs> once your partner hits your head on something, like that's the end. Oh, a show time. <laughs> so <laughs> they uh, they start to go collect, and you know, the dude at his head is doing that too. So I was like, oh snap, um, so, which I've never seen before. Them get hurt, right? True. Right. You always see the successes. Exactly. You never see the failure. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe with part of the act. Maybe they're trying to. Get That's the what I was thinking Maybe too. Maybe the sympathy. Bro. That is what I was thinking Some too. Some sympathy money. But then, but then, they come around, collect, right? Then the guy starts cursing people out that didn't give him money, and they're like, "What?" He was like, "You cheap people, you know." <laughs> 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 and I was like. Wow, I Man. I think I I think I gained some respect because you you ruined it's your rough. act, you messed up your act, but you're cussing us out because we didn't give you the money like that. That's that's bold. That he, was bold. He gaslit everybody. <laughs> on that <trip>. Also, <laughs> like think about it, you doing a whole routine and then you get hurt, and on top of that, people don't want to pay you. Like damn, exactly. I'm putting so much True. effort. Like, like yo, it was this like the dudes. Effort. It's what? like the dudes on the sidewalk. They see a cute girl. They're like, hey yo, what's up, man? She's like. Ew, I ain't trying to talk to you. And then they're like, I well, forget you then. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even want you like that. Like, yes, you did. You were yeah, ugly anyway. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just so gaslit the whole yeah. train. Car. That was crazy. And then that got me thinking if Showtime should be a sport, like an Olympic <laughs> yeah. sport or something yeah. like that. Like, we need to get these people <laughs> some respect. Yo, yeah. some Team of... USA, the yeah, Olympics. Literally. <laughs> just all New Yorkers. Exactly. The Olympics. Just the New York teams. You got a guy from teams. Arkansas being like, guys, I, I I got it. Like, you know, I'm performing on my local buses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, get a load of this get guy. Get a load of this guy. This guy, uh, he's never seen the subway in his life. I think he knows what Showtime is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, And so before we go, me and you had an idea. I know, we got three minutes. You think we can do three minutes of this? What's, what's the idea? About Lewis. You said the idea about oh, Lewis. Oh, yeah. So, Lewis, we love Lewis we so love much. Lewis. Our host. Aww. My boy's graduating. Host, do, do I need to get in the frame? Do I need to get in the frame? You can uh, come in the frame. If you want to, of yeah. Of course. Come on in. Come on in. For you guys that don't mic. know. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing, 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 swing it around town. Swing it around town. Swing it around town. Hey guys, how we doing? How you doing? Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Lewis does all our editing for the shows. Yes, uh-huh. he makes uh, the reels. all the shorts, all the reels. Mm-hmm. That's all Lou. He, he edits hand- the audio. Edits the audio and exactly. So Grim one mode, sh- you know what I'm saying? It's a great time. <laughs> so um, you know, any company that wants to hire this dude, please Absolutely. do. Please, please hire please. Lewis. He's um, looking for a job. Is work this is this is this a short? Yeah, whatever Absolutely. you want it to be. This is, this is a clip. Whatever yeah. you want it to be. Yeah. But congrats, Brody. You're graduating. There's that. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Of course, of course. Thank we should have printed something yeah. out and given you a diploma right Yeah, we absolutely should The get back does diploma. Right? That <laughs> would have been graduated. so funny. Yeah. Um, you got anything to say, Lou? Any last, any last things? I don't know if this is our last episode. I don't even know. But nah, it'll no, it'll be no, Thursday. We'll be okay, back. okay. We'll be I'll say my, I'll say things on Thursday, I guess. Okay, okay. Yeah. You're going to save it. A little teaser, yeah, a little yeah, teaser. teaser. See, he even does mic work. He even knows how to tease. Uh, <laughs> Insta, WBCR underscore CUNY. YouTube, same thing, WBCR underscore CUNY. And website, WBCR.net. We'll see ya. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>